Say hi. Hi. No, you see the camera? Say hi. What's in this Oh, we're going to actually play this later. Ew. Exciting, right? We're going to play with the cubes and stuff. What? Hey everyone, it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. This week I wanted to go ahead and share two easy and hands-on addition activities. Some of you might already know this, but I am in the process of opening up my SJT Math Club soon, which I am really excited about. It's basically a subscription or membership where I'm going to be offering games and math games and resources for grades kindergarten, first, and second grade, and I'm going to be doing it in a variety of different ways. So the games will be hands-on, like the ones I'm gonna to share today. Some of them will be print and play games, like many of the print and play games I've shared in the past. And also they're going to be digital, so you can use them in Google Classroom or on the Seesaw. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so you can get more information and join the waitlist on the SGT Writing Club if you want to know more about that. The page will actually have links to both my writing club and my math club. So you'll see when you go on there, it's a picture of writing and a picture of math. Just click on the math one if that is what you want to learn more about. As I've been creating these math activities and getting excited for it, I thought to myself I haven't shared these two, like I said, really easy and fun hands-on addition activities that I actually recently just completed with both of my boys at home. I should also mention that both of these hands-on addition activities are great for students that are either heading into kindergarten or maybe had kindergarten this past year, and they're fun ones to just send along to your parents so they can do them over the summer. So without further ado, let's see how to play. The first one I want to share are just these Build It cards. Now, I'm sorry if there's a glare because I have mine laminated, but these Build It cards I've actually had for free on my blog for like seven, eight years now. And they're something that I created for my kindergarten and first grade students, I think back in 2012 or 2013. So it is a very simple activity where students, this is kind of when they're just getting introduced to addition or if they need some remedial practice on addition. When I was making these cards, I just thought it was an easy way for students to visualize addition and adding one part and another part together to create a sum. So basically I eliminated these cards on some, you know, colorful paper to make them more fun and interesting. But all students will do, there's a bunch of different cards. I think there's 20 of them. So students would just pick a card. Let me see if I can get in there so you can focus on it. There you go. So the first part says build six. So all they would need to do is go ahead and grab, in my class we would use connecting cubes like these. I have a whole pile over here. But if you don't have these at home, you could easily just grab anything. So six of anything, they can either build it or they can collect it. So it could be Cheez-Its, goldfish, buttons, um, any small little manipulative that you have at home. So in the classroom though, and you might wanna carry this over at home, I would have students build six with the same color. So they would go ahead and that was their first step, build six. So I'm gonna grab six red, one, two, three, four, five, six. Build six. Next, it says add three more. What is the sum? So they would grab a different color. Let's grab purple. One, two, and three to make their little tower. And then it would say, what is the sum? And the reason I went ahead and laminated these is because I would always have my students do it with a dry erase marker so they could actually just go ahead and write. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six plus three equals nine. So they would write the sum right here. They would put their card down and I would, when they're doing this like independently at centers, I would always have students leave their card next to the cubes for just a little bit. They always had to leave at least like three out at a time. So when I was kind of walking around, I could quickly just double check on uh, the students' answers. Add eight more. I have to add eight. I'm gonna do eight yellow. Another reason I loved using these at the beginning of the year in the classroom was it was a great way for me to kind of walk around and assess where students are at in their addition. You know, are they still using one-to-one -one correspondence when they're counting up those six cubes and then adding three more? 
when they're finding the sum, are they able to just quickly add on? Are they able to say, okay, I know there's six here, so seven, eight, nine. And some of them will already know. They'll say, oh, build six, three more, I know that's nine. They'll still do it and actually build it and show it so they can see what nine and the six and the three part looks like. But you'll just be able to quickly assess kind of where your students are at. Like I said earlier, I have about 20 of these cards. I will link them down below with the other game. So after this video, you can go ahead and grab those and print them out. All right, on to addition activity number two. This is another hands-on one called addition grab bags. And this is a very simple activity. I've actually included it. It's in a packet that has like 19 pages and I think seven different activities. Uh, so I've talked about this unit a couple times. It's again, a free unit that I have. And I'll go ahead and show some of the thumbnails of other videos where I talked about different activities in this. So if you've actually downloaded this packet, you may have already seen this activity, but in case you haven't, I wanted to share it today. Addition grab bags is as easy as it sounds, and basically you're going to have two bags filled with some sort of manipulative. So in here, I don't know if you can even see this, but in here I have some cubes, the same type of cubes I had for the last one. And I like this because you can easily differentiate it for whoever you're playing with. So you're going to have two bags, so you'll have to decide what addition you wanna practice within, whether it's addition within 20, addition within 10, it's up to you. So you'll decide, I have about 15 cubes in this bag and 15 cubes in the other bag. And all students are going to do is they will take a minute, they will close their eyes, put them in each of the bags, and they'll grab some cubes. So addition, grab bags. They'll basically grab some cubes in each of their hands, put them on the table, and then find their sum. Oh goodness. See how many. Here's the recording sheet that they can go ahead and use. Again, I laminated it so they can use a dry erase marker. So if they grabbed six from one bag and seven from another, they would write six plus seven. They would count up the sum and write it right there as 13. Now I do have these that are laminated in case you wanted them to practice it over and over, but also if you were in the classroom or even if you just wanted to practice a bunch of times and kind of collect it after, I also have a recording sheet that looks like this one where they can complete it until the page is basically filled up. But similar to Build It, it's just a hands-on way for your students to go ahead and reach their hands in there, feel those different components, and then add them together to create a sum. Now both my boys love using these cubes because they can go ahead and connect them all after, but honestly they love any sort of manipulative and you will find that that's true for most of your younger students. And actually probably even some of your older ones too. They like to really feel the numbers, see them, figure them out, and then add them together. So there you have two fun and free hands-on addition activities. Both links for the games are down below in the description, so if you grab them, go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know if you like these games or if you're looking for more. And as always, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know. Next week, I'm actually going to be sharing an outdoor game for you that my boys just played the other day and loved. So that might be another one that's fun to send along to parents for the summertime. If you wanna see that video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that bell. That way you get an email every time I upload a new video. See you next week. Bye. Just says addition grab bags, two boxes with the plus sign and an equal sign. Well, three boxes. Two with the sign. Let's try that again.